I'd like to welcome everyone to Ignite the Spark. My name is Shar Speck Pakniak. I'm the founder and CEO of an organization called Horizons for Girls. And I like to visit with our viewers and share uh, different information I've come across that has helped me as I'm working with students and really trying to help them become more impactful in whatever it is they decide they want to do. I'm excited about today's topic. Um, and I could probably talk about it for days, but we'll try and squeeze in as much as we can in a very short time. Real quickly, a couple of statistics I pulled up last night that I found interesting regarding being a volunteer. Uh, this is from last year, and they said the value of a volunteer per hour is $24.62. So every hour you're volunteering, that's the value of your time in whatever it is that you're doing. And then the other statistic they posted is they said currently 63 million volunteers in America and that they are giving back to whatever they decide they want to work on. But it's a total of 8 billion hours. 8 billion hours. That is like, wow. That's really making a difference. Now, what I'm really excited about today is being able to introduce my guest. Uh, I've known this lady for a long time. And she and I enjoy coffee together on a regular basis. But I wanted to make sure, I'm going to take the bifocals off because I can't see with them. But I wanted to make sure I covered some of the things that she's involved in. Uh, my guest today, Linda Cates. She is a local development professional. And she first came to Sheboygan 12 years ago. And she came here to help raise money uh, with uh, the late Joe Richardson II, raising money for the Sharon Richardson Hospice in Sheboygan Falls, which is really where you and I met. Yes. After eight years, she took a brief professional hiatus. We all have to do that. During which time she served as a founding board member for Love in the Name of Christ, Sheboygan County. And today, she continues as their chair of the Resource Development and Communications Committee. So she's still involved with that. Over the past two years, I found this very exciting. Uh, Linda has assumed the role of board member, investor, and PR specialist for Sheboygan-based Vipe Tech, a highly innovative NASA startup company utilizing applied vibration technology for therapeutic purposes. I've met the gentleman that, that Linda works with. Absolutely fascinating. I'm intrigued with what they're doing. Now, as it re relates to volunteer activity, another area that Linda and I've worked together, uh, she has been recognized for her leadership in the Sheboygan Early Bird Rotary. She's recognized as past president, as chair of the Public Relations Committee, and she served for over a decade embracing the service above self. That's the international rotary commitment. That to me is very powerful. I look forward to being able to visit with Linda today and talk about volunteering and what What's important about it? Volunteering. Welcome, Linda. Well, thank you. Thank you, Shar. I can't tell you how thrilled I am. I've been looking forward to this on my calendar since we talked about it a couple of months ago. And also for the viewers to know that what an inspiration you are to all of us in uh, leadership across the county with what you have done with Horizons for Girls. So I have an opportunity to publicly say that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So I have, um, as a volunteer, um, had a number of different uh, perspectives and experiences with that. I, um, from an organizational standpoint, 
Um, I was blessed with a loyal, long-term group of volunteers, those magical words, loyal and long-term, mm -hmm. um, that assisted me in the development office um, at the hospice. And um, so uh, valuable, and uh, it made such a difference for us um, on the day-to-day -day, um, business of the hospice development office, but also in special events. I mean, I, we couldn't have done what we did without them, and uh, many of them remain close friends of mine today. Um, also, looking back over uh, some of the organizations you mentioned, and some I'm still involved with, Love in the Name of Christ was really uh, built. The mission leverages the um, community Christian com uh, involvement. And um, without that in involvement, the uh, mission, transforming lives and relationship with Christ, wouldn't be possible. And so at Love in the Name of Christ, we have 38 partner churches that each have dozens, if not hundreds, of volunteers, and this creates the whole force to deliver the mission of love in the name of Christ. And so to see that evolving over the last several years under the leadership of Katie Pop is just uh, amazing. It's an incredible blessing. So from an organizational standpoint, I have a good sense of the value, even though when you said almost $25 an hour with, a, with billions of hours, my mind calculator popped right in there. It's an awesome uh, figure. But the impact is absolutely incredible. And of course, as organizations benefit individuals within the community, the community as a whole benefits from uh, volunteering, volunteerism as well, um, just making us healthier, more vibrant as a community. But the benefits to me of assuming responsibilities um, in a nonprofit for no pay have been really sweet to reflect on. Um, it, you know, and my biggest takeaway after thinking about this and um, praying about it and uh, reading the research about the benefits of volunteering is that it's really an investment in myself. So um, that blows my mind to say, to say that because there's this huge stack of benefits and uh, so many of them keep pointing back to the volunteer. <laughs> and, um, you know, and they're categorized in a variety of different ways. Um, everyone talks about the fact that there's a stronger connection to others, that it really builds community to be a volunteer. So, and as I mentioned, I've made some of my best friends through hospice volunteers. And now at Love in the Name of Christ and uh, in my Rotary Club. So uh, and you mentioned those roles. And I always have to say, because I know he'll watch this show, <laughs> that I met my second husband, Randy, when I worked at the hospice. His first wife, uh, Dee, had died there in 2009. But I asked him to volunteer to be the speaker at our annual dinner um, at the end of that year. And of course, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> so we're blessed in many different ways uh, as it relates to the benefits of volunteering. But uh, that leads me to, I think, an important point is that it ends loneliness, right? It does. It really does. Um, and it, it just, it completes you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say that, and I think of that, and I don't even remember the movie, You Complete Me. Oh, yes. And yeah. in my mind, volunteering completes me. That makes me a whole person. Yes. And that's what I really try and instill into our students, is that it's not just about you. It's not just about what you're going to benefit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you feel good, and you're going to be helping others. And I've seen student after student change their perspective on the world as a whole when they take the time to do some type of project that we're working on. They really, really shine. Yes. Well, and um, just to complete the loneliness piece, because it's wrapped around your comments that... Um, when you talk about elderly or individuals in life transitions, and even our young people, um, study after study talks about how isolated they feel, 
how lonely they feel. And this really is a way of um, losing yourself in the service of others and in some ways then finding yourself. So if you think about what talent, what experience, you know, what do I have a passion for, and then you bring that to a need, um, there's really incredible things that happen. Um, I always think about my mom, bless her heart, who is um, advanced in years. She'll watch this too, so I won't <laughs> give her age, but she's um, an amazing um, woman. And uh, she had been, as a young woman, uh, fairly shy and didn't necessarily like to speak in public. And um, through her commitment to companion animals, she lives in northern Wisconsin in Oneida County, and there were um, many needs uh, as it related to the animal shelter and caring for the dogs and cats and other companion animals. And really, out of her passion and love, her compassion for these little creatures that are so much our friends and part of our families, she really uh, found her stride and, uh, and learned to speak in public about the importance of various initiatives they were involved in. Uh, she took up writing, which uh, she has a wonderful gift for. And... Um, I often like to think that I got some of her pizzazz, but certainly not all of her <laughs> talent in that regard. I only wish. But uh, this is what can happen. You know, when you have something you're passionate about, you're willing to extend yourself and perhaps uh, move into areas where you haven't been particularly comfortable. Um, but because of your commitment to a cause um, or the use of a particular skill or talent, you're in a position that you really want to uh, go the extra mile. Um, this can also happen. I talk to some of the younger professionals who come to me and want advice about getting into the field of development and communications. There's really no better way to get professional experience than by selecting an organization or a cause that's interesting or dear to you, you have a passion for, and then making yourself available to volunteer and assist. It's a great way to not only build on the things we've talked about in terms of making friends and building uh, community, the, the value is, is certainly um, incredible that way, but it's a great way to build a professional resume, making connections that can be of assistance to you. So I often tell my... Uh, those individuals in my circle who want to extend their development uh, capacity that, you know, find an organization, I will often recommend a couple that I'm well aware of, <laughs> and, um, you know, and let yourself be swept up in that organization and use, develop that muscle that you, you really want to be uh, influential in an area. And it, it's interesting, and I say, even step out into something you thought you maybe never would ever want to do. And I was telling, telling you before we started recording the show, one of the unusual things that I did, I was very active in the Chamber of Commerce, and they had a committee that was working on and I forget which tournament it was, but PGA, the golfing event, the first one sure. at Whistling Straits. Yes. And they had a committee that was formed to make sure that everything was handled correctly. And they wanted somebody to chair transportation. <laughs> well, what does Char know about <laughs> transportation and highways and traffic flows and all of that? Well, I raised my hand. And I said, I'll give it a shot. And I loved it. It, mm -hmm. it was so educational. I met so many people. Mm -hmm. I learned so much. Um, 
So that, it, was, it was thanks to you that we had those little golf carts that <laughs> took us to the outer parking areas <laughs> where the other volunteers had to park. <laughs> Thank you very well, and, much. <laughs> and then I even had my, my students, two of my students that had already graduated out of the program, volunteered out there helping park vehicles, okay. which then raised money for Horizons. So it was this, this paying forward Domino that kept effect. multiplying itself. Yes. It was great. Yeah. I loved it. Well, one of the things that um, I found over and over again as I was looking at different articles, thinking about our time together today, looking at articles about volunteering, is that um, they say volunteers live longer. Right. Oh, that's a good motivation. If I'm going to beat my mom. <laughs> <laughs> the women in our family live a long time. And that they also enjoy mental, physical, and emotional health. And I was kind of looking at what are the pillars of those. And we've talked about being the social connections. And we've talked about, you know, feeling valued in terms of having a talent. Um, sometimes discovering a compa uh, something you're passionate about. We're all learning about ourselves, regardless of what stage of life we're in. And it also made me think about um, how uh, heartwarming it is to receive recognition. Now, you know, not in an egotistical way, I'm not suggesting, but I just want to reinforce for those of you, yourself and others who are involved in running volunteer programs, that, you know, that time you take to put the certificate together, I, I was... Uh, selected as a crusader for Christ in a recent month by love in the name of Christ. And I just can't tell you how thrilled I was to put this on Facebook. And I got hundreds. Uh, I didn't even know I had that many friends. <laughs> <laughs> I got hundreds of responses. And also with my Rotary Club, I was selected um, as Rotarian of the Year a few years ago. And every time I look at this clock, it, well, you know, deserved. I think, wow, you know, that that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity to uh, on days when maybe I'm not feeling so cool <laughs> 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 to give myself a little pat on the back for when things went really well. So, you know, that recognition makes a difference. It helps to um, kind of warm our hearts and. Um, and it's some um, kind of um, benefit that you know we won't don't necessarily talk about uh, with others. You know the type of recognition we received, but it does make a difference. So I think it has a positive effect on self-esteem, right? It's like, oh yeah, you know, I am making a difference. There is a contribution that I'm making. You know, even though some days I wonder, <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else. Um, one of the other things that I, um, I could glean from all of that um, benefit information was that it really helps us to uh, age gracefully. And um, I don't know about you, but that's something I'm committed to. <laughs> and, um, you know, because we engage others, uh, that socializing benefit is so important, the connection. And we also just move a lot more physically. Right. I'm not sitting at my home office desk, um, you know, looking at or thinking about what I need to do on my computer next. Um, so it's, um, it's really an opportunity to, uh, to get uh, involved and to uh, look at the um, life, the organization, the community in a little different way and be part of something that uh, is good that's happening. Well, and I think sharing that uh, experience, that knowledge that you've got, when you can share that, it's, that in itself is paying it forward to future volunteers that, mm -hmm. well, if Linda did this, if Shar did this, I guess, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I could help with that too. Yeah. Um, and that, that to me is invaluable. Yeah. Well, one of the things we haven't talked about, we haven't touched on, but has always been, in my mind, 
um, because I've been involved in various community initiatives um, most of my life. It's certainly been my career path, community development in one phase or another. My first career was at Wisconsin Gas Company, and I worked in community outreach in a variety of different program areas. And my daughter, Michelle, will still tell stories about how she had to show up at the Salvation Army Christmas party and hand out candy canes. <laughs> how we spent sometimes Thanksgiving at the um, serving meals, and just different things over the years that we did together, she and I. And as, as we were preparing for the show today, I was thinking, I really do want to put together some type of a project that I can do with my uh, two wonderful grandchildren this summer. Um, Brittany, who is uh, 25, lives in Appleton with her husband, Ryan, and also Brady, who is 17 now, living in Stevens Point. But both of them have that huge, compassionate heart for others. And um, Brady's already done some mission trips, and of course, Brittany has been involved in various things over the years um, with her mom and, uh, and as a family. So... Looking forward to uh, kind of strengthening that value, uh, that shared value within our family, and uh, making some memories doing that. There's lots of opportunities here in Sheboygan County, and you were mentioning to me, reminding me of the Volunteer Center as a resource. Mm -hmm. And certainly, you know, we have connections at the Salvation Army and... Uh, and uh, the Children's Museum. And There's so many The Ministries of Love in the Name of Christ, you know, to name a few of my favorites. So. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Horizons for Girls. Well, and, <laughs> and as we are talking before the show, I shared with you that one of the projects that Horizons does every summer is we volunteer at the Elkhart Lake Triathlon. Mm -hmm. which means we're staffing water stations in different um, areas throughout the triathlon. And what I've done with that is created uh, a family team opportunity mm -hmm. so that, yes, one of our students and maybe some siblings, maybe a parent, a uh, family member, they do it together as a team. And last year after we did that, uh, I had many uh, parents that came back and said, thank you. It really gave me a chance to connect with my daughter. Um, you know, so they're communicating in a non-threatening way in, in something that they really felt made a difference and that they could hand out water to those crazy people that do a triathlon. I not for sure, me, but sure. I'll wave as they go by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it again, it's an opportunity. As sure. you said, if you do that with the family this year, I think that'd be great to do with yeah. the grandkids. Yeah. Um, it's just, wow, incredible. Yeah. But definitely our viewers, you know, if they're thinking, well, how do I volunteer? What, where do I start? I'm going to say go to the United Way website. Sure. Look at their volunteer page because there's hundreds of opportunities there. Uh, some of them are very event-oriented, such as the triathlon. Some of them are long-term, such as mentoring uh, with Horizons or mm -hmm. some of the other projects in the community. Mm -hmm. So there's a variety of opportunities sure. to to be a part of something and to make a difference. I mean, the choices there. I mean, it goes page after page after page. And think about something that is fun for you or something that you feel passionate about mm -hmm. because it just adds another dimension to the experience. And, you know, and this is um, every season of the year there's something going on, even in terms of the short-term volunteer efforts. I think about the Rotary um, driven making spirits bright and there's tons of opportunities i've been involved as a cash counter but one of the things i had so much fun with um, 
I didn't do it last winter, but the winter before was being Santa's helper, um, where you know and the children could come through, and we have it at the quarry right next to um, Evergreen Park, where the light show is, and it's available uh, throughout the season, and the kids just love it, and you know they come and see Santa and get their hot chocolate and all that stuff and so you know in that operation there's so many different things you can do depending upon you know what it is that you have an interest in what might be fun for you so I think it's important even when you're planning something with your family to talk about it's another opportunity to communicate about what's important to you what do, where do you have a particular soft spot in your heart you know do you love companion animals? Do you want to go over to the uh, animal shelter and the Humane Society and, you know, do something as a family? Um, there's so many opportunities. But you're right, the Volunteer Center is a great place to start and, uh, you know, take a look at things, try some things on. You just, you never know. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I again, real quickly, I think of something that I only did because I wasn't working at the time, but I was, I ended up being trained as a naturalist educator at Maywood. Oh boy, <laughs> what a wonderful okay. spot. You know, yeah. so again, it was a step out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. but I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I was educated on a lot of things at Maywood I had no idea about, fascinating. And it helped me with what I do now when I'm working with students at Horizon. So, sure. you know, benefits are endless. Yes. And it, an opportunity, I think what I hear you underscoring is an opportunity to explore something you may not know so much about, but be curious about even. So, you know, yeah. there, there are those... Uh, you never know. Volunteer you spots absolutely available. absolutely never know. You know, we've talked about companion pets a couple of times. Uh, under the table at our feet, uh, Fabe <laughs> is one of those companion pets. Yeah. And I uh, share sweet. a group of people that uh, handle certified therapy dogs. Yes. And absolutely love it. I mean, Faith and her furry friends go to the library and little kids read a book to them then we give those little kids a bookmark that my students from horizons have made so again there's that multiple generational thing going on and i love it absolutely love it there there's so much to this um umbrella called volunteering, you know, both for the organizations, um, everything we've talked about, of course, the benefit to the community is so evident, and then to the individual volunteers, you know, it's such a blessing uh, to stay connected, um, it builds your social skills at a time maybe where you're involved in a life transition and you're not quite so sure who you are. It um, builds your self-esteem. It exposes you to new information. Lifelong learning is such a critical part of being healthy uh, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So, you know, there, you just can't lose. And if you're involved in something, you experience something, it's not, it doesn't quite hit the mark, well, then move on. There's always another opportunity around the corner. Yes, definitely. So again, please get out there, volunteer. It's volunteer. going to make a difference for <laughs> everybody, yourself and everybody else. But I look forward to talking to you again next month. And in the meantime, make sure you find a new thing to do while you're volunteering.